Okay, welcome back. In this video clip, I'm, I'm going to show you how to rebuild WMI in Windows 7. So, in order to do that, first you have to go to the WMI folder, which is in my computer, it's in C drive, under Windows, under System 32, and then under Webm. WBME Webm. Here's the WMI repository folder. So if you click the leap, uh, just click rename. Either way, you can click the lead or click rename. Um, I click rename so it's I can use it as a backup. So it says um, this action can't be completed. The reason is because the WMI service is running. You have to stop the service first. Let's go to WMI service. Go to my computer, right click, go to manage, under services and applications, services. So you will find Windows, management instrumentation. So you click stop, and now it is stopped. Now I can go in and delete my folder, or where is it at? Um, okay, yes, yeah, that's right. Um, rename the folder. Call it dot zero dot one, or oh, call it dot four. So now the WMI repository is gone. In order to recreate the new repository, you have to restart the service. Double click on the Windows Management Instrumentation. Start. Then close it out. If you go to the folder, let's refresh the screen. Sometime will take a while to recreate the folder, so let's see, refresh, refresh, I thought I restarted the service, let's go to the service again, It is restarted. Oh, there it is. It took a while to um, to create to recreate the folder. Maybe about ten seconds. And that's it. That's how you rebuild WMI in Windows Seven. Thank you for watching.